and welcome to another pad video. So we're making this video for a client of ours, a 2014 Jeep Wrangler with a 3.6 liter V6. Vehicle's brought in to di diagnose an engine oil leak. Client states he's getting oil drops on his driveway. So I raised the truck up and I noticed that there was oil saturation on the bottom of the engine, but more so on the transmission. I look a little further and I notice even the top side of the transmission had oil saturation. So let's go even further. We gotta keep going up, find this oil leak. Well, the culprit was this, the oil filter housing. So it's sold from Mopar. This come from our local Mopar dealer as a, an assembly. This is the oil filter housing, the black portion. This is the oil cooler. So you have engine oil and antifreeze or engine coolant running through these passages. So engine coolant or antifreeze and engine oil circulate in two different uh, uh, areas inside this cooler. And the idea is to keep engine oil at a lower temperature. So you have your oil pressure sensor here and you have your oil temperature sensor made into it, sold as a unit from Mopar. But these are the culprit of the leaks, all these little O-rings on the very bottom. All right. So I've had the old one removed I want to show you inside the uh, engine area. And once we get the camera set up, we'll come back and I'll point things out. Okay, so you can see we have the intake manifold removed and the oil filter housing removed. The oil filter housing, these are the passages where the O-rings seal, right, that I pointed out earlier. You can see this; these two right here are your antifreeze or coolant passages. The remaining are the, you got an oil pressure passage and oil drain back passages. So we'll clean all this off. This is just debris and dirt that sits on top of the intake. But you can see down here, these are knock sensors, engine knock sensors. Um, they both, they're identical, but this one's just buried in engine oil. So you can see how the oil puddles up here from a leaking oil filter housing. And eventually it puddles up to a level, or if it's parked on a heel and incline with nose up, it'll, go over the valley of this engine and run down the top of the transmission to the bottom of the transmission and then onto the ground. But this is where it all starts right here. So if you have a 3.6 liter uh, Jeep or Mopar product with this kind of engine, certainly the Wranglers, and you can't find your oil leak, this is more likely the culprit. All right, to cap off our video on this Wrangler, uh, we've got it all back together, new parts on there, new seals, new uh, oil filter housing. So let's pan over here and you can see it all back together. So intake boot, air filter housing, uh, intake plenum, intake manifold. Now here's the very top of the oil filter housing that we replaced. That's the top portion of it. And of course the other portions buried under there. So you can see how it looks all back together. So we'll top off the fluids. And this car be good to go. So if you've got an oil leak, don't be so quick to blame it on a rear main seal on one of these. Let's verify it. Bring it to us. We'll take a look at it for you. And thanks for watching another pad video.